How did I end up in Ohio again? Stay tuned for this week's episode of Tap Talk, where I'll give you an update on my trip and some more twists and turns that I faced along the way. As I left Cades Cove, the rain began to break, and by the time I was out of the Knoxville area, I had dry roads as I headed through northern Tennessee into Kentucky. I was astonished at the delightful foliage I saw as I made my way through the Cumberland Mountains and toward Ohio. I crossed into Ohio just before nightfall and made my way toward Circleville to an old familiar park. I'd originally planned to meet friends in West Virginia at Twin Falls Resort State Park, but another curveball came my way. Unfortunately, the friends that I was supposed to meet are facing some health challenges, so we've decided to postpone that to a time when everyone's healthy. One of the friends that I was supposed to meet up with lives in Columbus, Ohio, so I decided to head on up to A.W. Marion State Park in Circleville, which is near Columbus, to camp for the week and work. Thankfully, I was able to stop by and see her, and she seems to be recovering well. I wasn't expecting the foliage to be great at A.W. Marion. I just thought it would be a great landing spot and it would be fairly quiet. Well, I pulled in in the dark on Sunday, so I had no idea when I awoke to the beautiful fall foliage, which seemed to be at peak. People ask me why I camp so much in Ohio. There are a couple good reasons for that. One, it's close by. I live on the western side of Pennsylvania. Two, it's pretty dog friendly, where Pennsylvania state parks are not really as dog friendly they have more limited loops available for dogs. Lastly, their parks are actually pretty nice compared to what I've seen in Pennsylvania. The facilities get updated and they're very accessible. On top of being a great place to work and camp for the week, Rocky has really enjoyed it. The campground is empty, there are tons of leaves for him to run and play in, and there's a lot of peace and quiet, so not a lot of things to disturb or annoy him this week. And even though this may be my last campground, it's not my last destination. I'm headed on up to Cleveland where I will spend the weekend visiting with family and one niece in particular really looking forward to reconnecting. I made my way north to Cleveland for the weekend to spend time with family and catch up on laundry. My original plan was to head home after that. But while I was there, I decided that the weather was still too nice to go home. So I made a reservation at Nimicilla Reservoir, one of my favorite campgrounds, for a few more days of camping. When I arrived at Nimicilla, again the campground was simply splendid. The fall foliage blending with the beautiful towering pine trees created an idyllic week. At Nimicilla, the checkout time is at 11 a.m., and I still had work to do for the day. So I simply left my site and parked at a lakeside parking spot. After work, I headed out to a KOA that was halfway between Nimicilla and home. I wasn't keen on arriving home in the dark and backing into my narrow alley, so I decided to go ahead and spend the night at that KOA. When I left for home in the morning, it appeared as though winter had arrived overnight. Many leaves were now missing from trees and snow flurries swirled in the air. This is the end of the Rocky Road Tour. I will resume my normal content soon, but I hope you found this short travel vlogging series enjoyable. I know for me personally, this was an amazing trip, one of the best I've ever taken. The fall foliage seemed to last for weeks, from Colorado to Tennessee to Kentucky, 
all the way back to Ohio. It was just simply amazing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.